What's good, my people? Jay Canada. Yes, this is a little bit of a postcon because yesterday morning when the Raptors Hornets historic packs dropped, I opened a box. But this year with the historic packs, I find that they don't make great pack opening vids because you can't pull the diamonds. You're literally just pulling players trying to fill up that collection. So I'm getting excited over its silvers and golds and, you know, it's just, it, it's kind of lame. Yeah, kind of lame. But I did pull a few emeralds and I did pull quite a few historic players in this pack, in these packs rather. So that's why I'm showing them there is a Lou Williams. And, and that was an Ian Clark. Oh, it's a Sapphire. Oh my gosh, Johnny Will Newman's. Jo uh, Johnny New. I, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But let me know what you guys think. I will definitely do the theme packs. I'll open those for fun, but... Do you really want to see me just try and pull for some historic players? I don't really think that's that great. I don't know. Didn't pull much fire. Did you guys have luck? Let me know in the comment section. And oh yeah, I almost forgot. I did end up with something special yesterday morning. Oh my gosh, look at how beautiful it is. Hold on, I need to get the mic closer. <clears throat> it's a diamond. Oh my goodness. I wish I didn't know who it was already, but I do. I'm still as hyped. Here we go. Open up, baby. Zoom back. Zoom forward. Ah! Larry Johnson. Uh, guys, we, we got Larry Johnson. Really cool, right? Diamond. Congratulations. You played yourself. So yes, indeed, we're rocking out with the second diamond of the day. And like I mentioned off the top, don't really think the pack openings this year with the historic players are that lit because I'm just opening to try and get one player. And as you can see, if you paid attention, I actually got like seven historic players. Four were on the Hornets, three were on the Raptors. I had finished more of the current Hornets collection. So that's why I went for Larry Johnson instead of Chris Bosh. Oh, okay. And literally the only thing with this Larry Johnson card, which looks dope by the way, is that he's only six foot seven, but undersized as he may be, his stats are amazing. Inside, he can make layups. He can make post shots. He's got an outside jump shot that is wet. His quickness, his steal, all of that is really good. And his defensive attributes, dunking, it's all there. This card is statistically better than Bosh. He's just a little bit shorter. Unfortunately, we had to sacrifice a man to get Larry, the big Aristotle, the Shaktus, Superman. Moment of silence is over, guys. Just I did like Shaq, especially because you can dunk on people with him this year, but for 100k, don't really think he's worth it. I wanted Larry Johnson instead. Makes sense. And the opponent, oh baby, George Mikan. How do you, what? How do you get George Mike? Oh, he's finished historic domination too. Awesome. We win the tip. That is a super good sign. I have taken absolutely zero shots with this Larry Johnson. Like I didn't even take him into freestyle and practice around with him. But we'll look at him to the rim. Okay. Okay. We're pulling up. Um, free throws. That works exactly how I planned it. But Larry wide open for midi. Not really, but it goes in. I've taken two terrible shots with him and gotten four points. Here we go. Larry on LeBron. That's a mismatch for me. For me. Larry Johnson out of the post. You already know. 95 or something post fade. It's easy money. If I keep using Larry, he's eventually going to know I'm going to him. But who cares, right? It's Larry Johnson, an absolute monster. Look at this. Around. Oh, around LeBron to the rim. Dunking on fools. That was a... Pretty, pretty basic animation, but uh, calling for the old Larry Johnson post up. Let's see if the post spin is still cheese. Nah, nah, he's on that. He's on that, but watch this pump fake. <laughs> up, under, whoop, green release, whoop. Now this man doesn't know what to defend. Is Larry gonna go up and under? Is he gonna fade? He's too strong for you, LeBron. He's too strong. I'm fading, I'm fading. Oh my goodness, this card. I didn't know if he was actually gonna be this good, but he is this good. Did you see that shimmy? I don't even know how I did that. And he gets an add one. Sounds about right. Yep, this man's just been attacking the paint. This is no defense being played. All right, so we just flash forward it a bit. We're up three. It could be better, but Larry Johnson Expose is back here. Oh, Expose what a move. And Larry. <laughs> and one. And one. This card. Oh my, oh my goodness. The title is gonna say like, Larry Johnson is a complete beast or something. That is literally an understatement. Like this card does everything. Yes. Another and one. Are you kidding me? Is his draw foul like 110? And that's impossible. All right, clear it out folks. Larry Johnson running the point. Watch out, crossover, pick and roll. Going to the rim, don't leave Lou Hudson. You don't, don't, oh my, don't leave Lou Hudson. The only thing I haven't done with Larry is shoot a three. I want to let one three fly with him. Right there, no, that was a bad relief. That, oh, that was not what I was trying to do. Try it again, Larry, pump fake, no. Goodbye, goodbye, all the way to the rim, all the way to the rim. Why would I bother shooting a three accidentally when I can just dunk it? But we're locking up George Mike and no post pins, post drive like cheese this year. Get that out of here. Good manual block by me. Just kidding. How could you leave?
leave Larry Johnson. You know better than that, sir. I know you know better than that by now. Please tell me you've learned. Not really. Well, I don't know how we got here right now. Like, this high-scoring game, like, now we're losing. Like, this is so crazy, man. This is so so crazy. Larry Johnson, wide open midi, green release. Can we play some defense though, please? I'm gonna try off-balling a bit, you know, mix it up because my on-ball defense is so trash. Like, I'm embarrassed. I am embarrassed that this man has put up this amount of points on me, but let's see. Let's see. Can we do it? Can we see? L look at that. Ha Bruh. I'm, I'm trash. Boys, this game has been crazy. It's literally been so back and forth, and it's been like Larry Johnson for me, Steve Francis for him, just back and forth. Here we go with Larry. No, that was not a good shot. All right, we need to play defense. And we don't. And we're losing. But we need to win, dude. Like, like I don't care. I need to win right here. James Edwards underneath. Good flush. He's like seven foot eight. Give me that steal. I'm too much of a beast. No, no, back it out, back it out. Oh my gosh, not a turnover. That is not what we need. Uh, Larry, Larry, could have gone inside. Larry behind the back, inside. James Edwards, finish. James Edwards, you're bringing us home. I thank you for that. 12 seconds later. Oh no, Steve Francis, no. Oh no what a block. Oh my, oh my, the game's over. The game's over after that block. Uh-uh. Ain't no way you can recover from that block and this post fadeaway. Pass the double team. It's over. Goodbye. It's over. Webster's Dictionary defines monster as some sort of being that possesses unbelievable qual- I'm just kidding. I'm not on Webster's Dictionary. I don't need a definition when I just saw the game Larry Johnson played. 35 points on 13 of 16 shooting, 9 for 9 from the free throw line. The only miss was a 3-pointer I accidentally released. I was trying to pump fake. Oh my- you can't stop him from anywhere. He can handle, he can post, he can shoot mids, he can probably shoot threes if you even bother taking them because- you really don't need to. He's so good. Oh my gosh. I, I gotta go. That was just too amazing. Peace.